November's congressional election still seven months away, but they're shaping up to be the most expensive midterms ever. Nearly $340 million has been spent already, and two big spenders from here in Wichita are getting a lot of attention. Nancy Cordes has more on the Democratic campaign against the Koch brothers. These two brothers don't like government. On Capitol Hill, there is one name on every Democrat's lips. The Koch brothers. The Koch brothers. The Koch brothers. The Senate's top Democrat, Harry Reid, mentions them in almost every speech, calling them shadowy and un-American. Where the secret of Koch brothers, that the Koch brothers are trying to buy America. David and Charles Koch are the businessmen behind Koch Industries, a Kansas-based conglomerate that employs 100,000 people and brings in $115 billion annually. The brothers are also the chief backers of Americans for Prosperity, a powerful political action committee that spent $122 million in 2012 and $30 million just since last year mostly targeting the president and vulnerable Senate Democrats. So now Democrats are trying to turn the tables with their own $3 million ad campaign against two men who have never held elective office. Out-of-state billionaires spending millions to rig the system and elect Bill Cassidy. Tim Phillips, who runs the Koch-backed group, argues the left has their own big donors. It's hypocritical when Harry Reid takes millions of dollars from billionaires on the left to attack folks of resources on the free market side. A recent bipartisan poll found more than half of Americans have never heard of the Koch brothers. Republican pollster Ed Goez, who conducted the survey, says Democrats are simply trying to fire up their base. It's basically giving them a bad guy uh, that they're going out to vote against as opposed to voting on the record which at this point does not look very good for the president. He says Republicans employed a similar strategy 10 years ago against progressive billionaire George Soros. We don't do it anymore, so it pretty much tells you how that went. Um, uh, it ended up not mattering to people. All right, to give you a better idea of just how much the Democrats are talking about the Koch brothers, take a look at this graph. It was put together by the Sunlight Foundation. It shows the number of times the phrase Koch brothers has been used on the House or Senate floor since 2010. You can see the big jump in January of this year. This graph also breaks down uh, the phrase by party. Blue is Democrats, white is independents, and red is Republicans. We've posted a link to this data on our website. You can go there and see which congressman talks about the brothers the most. 